Welcome to Scaleform GFX 3.0 Getting Started with Click Video Tutorial 1. My name is Matthew Doyle. I'm the Gaming Product Specialist here at Scaleform and I've been in the games industry for eight years. If you have any issues or questions while using GFX or Click, shoot an email to support at scaleform.com and either myself or one of our capable engineers will work with you to resolve them. In this tutorial, We'll show you how to use the new Component Lightweight Interface Kit, or CLICK, to rapidly prototype a basic front-end menu system, which will include a main menu and an options screen, all composed of core CLICK components such as buttons, sliders, option steppers, and radio buttons. The next tutorial in this series will walk you through the scanning process of the menu. This is an introductory tutorial designed to give you a basic understanding of how to use the CLICK component framework. The tutorial is available in printed format as well in the Getting Started with Click document. We advise you to go over this document along with the tutorial. Let's get started. Launch Adobe Flash. Then create a new ActionScript 2.0 Flash file. Next we'll need to make sure the Flash Publish settings are set up correctly. Click File in the top menu and then select Publish Settings. In the Publish Settings window, disable HTML format. Click on the Flash tab. Set the Player drop-down to Flash Player 8. And then ensure that the Script drop-down is set to Action Script 2.0. Press OK. Double-click Layer 1 on the timeline and change the name of the layer to Scene. This layer is where all of the graphics elements will live on the timeline. Click the New Layer button to create a new layer. Rename this layer Actions. This layer is where all of the action script code will live. Next, right-click on frame 10 of the Actions layer and choose Insert Keyframe. Do the same for the scene layer. Frame 10 is where the options menu will live. Frame 1 is where the main menu will live. Add another new layer and label this layer Labels. The Labels layer will be used to demark the main menu and the options screen and will be referenced by ActionScript. Insert a new keyframe at frame 10 on the Labels layer. Select frame 1 on the Labels layer and give it a label of Main Menu. You'll find the Label Name field on the Properties tab. Type Main Menu. Now select frame 10 of the Labels layer and give it a label of Options Screen. We need to add some basic action script to keep the menu from immediately leaving the main menu and going to the options screen. Select frame 1 of the actions layer. Open the actions panel by pressing F9 on your keyboard. Inside the actions panel, on line 1 type stop open close parentheses semicolon. Be sure to save your work regularly. Do this by pressing the file button in the top menu and selecting Save As from the drop-down. Be sure to save in the format your team can access, either CS3 or CS4. 